Welcome to Glogster.edu. Uh, this tool uh, that's really great to use with students is located at edu.glogster.com. All right, I'm going to show you how to have, uh, have students to sign in and get started creating their blogs. All right, from here, you're going to have students sign in with Google. It's going to give you a request for permission. Click on Accept. And the next thing it's going to do is going to ask them for a nickname. Now, they can try to put in their um, username before. Um, they can add numbers to it. Uh, basically, their nickname is just something that attaches to them. They don't want to put anything personally identifiable in here, um, but just a, a good nickname that will go through the system. Email is already uh, put in here. And in here, all you got to do, you don't have to go all the way down, but you can go ahead and put in the country, of course, United States and the state and then that's all you need to do here don't worry about the next city and then finally they can choose to remember me on the computer and definitely need to click on it agree to, to the terms alright so once you are uh, signed in this is your dashboard this will have all the logs that students create down here and a big button that says create a new log when you click on create new log it'll, it's going to give the students some choices of templates so if there's anything in here that they're doing that seems to apply, timelines are a good one, book reports, um, they can use a template to get started and then they can just fill in the boxes. Or they can fill in and start uh, blank, either horizontally or vertically. I'm just going to click on a blank one. I'm just going to do a, a horizontal blank glog. And these are called glogs. So uh, G-L-O-G is what they're called when they're finished. All right, so Glogster, it's gonna, it might ask you to allow, and that's fine. It is an interactive multimedia poster creator. So you can create all kinds of text in here. You can really customize it. You can add video, you can add audio, you can grab things from your webcam. It's just a really great way to make an interactive poster. All right, so I wanna show you some of the uh, real quick features here. How to um, delete things if you don't want to have this word bubble, for example. Anything you click on, it'll bring up the different um, options you've got. You can order it. You can lock it so it's not movable. You can add a link to it, or you can delete it. To edit the text, all you do is double click inside, and you can edit the text. You can also have students to change the font, obviously. They can change the size, uh, the spacing. They can change the colors. You can do all these things. All right, and once you have the box, it's important to know that you can rotate and resize. And here's how you add some more things. So if I click on Tools, I can add more text boxes, and there's lots of different types of text. Students can get really creative with it. Graphics are preloaded graphics that are inside of Glogster. Images, you can upload images. You can link to outside images or you can actually grab images from your webcam. And that works just the same, so if I click on upload images here, I can just pick an image and upload it directly in. I'm gonna go ahead and, and add an image here real quick, just to show you what it looks like. Come into my pictures, and I'll put in the picture of the old Apple logo. Once you've got it loaded into this, this is kind of your library in here, you can place it right into the blog by clicking on it and click on use it. It'll pop down there. You can also change the background, the wall. So the wall here, if I click on uh, styles, I'll just go ahead and click one and click use it. It'll change the background wall. Um, you can change different pages. You can add audio. And I want to show you this for sure. This is the little grab icon. So if I click on the grab icon, it's going to take you to the grab tool which is where you can grab video directly from the webcam. You can record audio so students can put in their own voice and narrate. And they can grab images from the webcam as well. All right, uh, once you have added and the students have made their interactive poster with all their video and, and different types of things in here. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you, under video, you can add YouTube videos in here. You can search for them directly in uh, Glogster. But once you have some things in here, you want to go ahead and save. So when students save, and actually, I forgot to say, you can preview before you save if you'd like. But when I go to save, it's going to ask for a title. I'm just going to put first 
log. And it's going to save the content, but it's also going to ask you to categorize the content um, so that it's, it's something that you can see later so it can fit into different categories. All right, so uh, some of those categories, um, as it pulls up here, All right, so the different categories, uh, you can put in different disciplines here. You can choose subcategories. You can add different grade levels. You can put tags on your blog, and this will be the actual URL that people can get to. So when I publish this and I make it public, um, I can send this URL. So this is the name of my URL that I can send on to anyone that needs it. We'll click on Finish Saving. And there again is my link. If I want to copy it, I can do it right there. I can go back to my dashboard, or I can view this blog. So if I click on View Blog, this is the view that others will see of the work. They'll be able to play the videos, edit. The, they won't be able to edit. They'll be able to actually view the blog. All right. Um, I'm going to go right back to my dashboard so you can see exactly what that looks like. I've got it created. Here's where I can delete it if I need to, and I can add more as I need it. All right, I hope you guys have fun uh, creating blogs and Glogster and uh, start making some really cool interactive posters.